hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you are welcome my name is Noya. today i'm going to show you how to prepare ofen sala ofen sala is also called white soup it is delicious and nutritious if you want to know how to cook it please keep watching i'll be using chicken for this recipe many people like using catfish but you can use any protein of your choice i'm also using stock fish and dry fish as well as uziza leaves and utazi leaves i'm also going to be using yam as a thickener i'm using ogiri ibu and scotch bonnet peppers as well as crayfish stock cubes and salt to taste I'm going to start by cooking my chicken i don't know why i was placing this chicken one after the other when i could have just poured it in anyway i'm going to go in next with my thoroughly washed dry fish and stock fish you need this too for this recipe for the flavor there is no offense salad without stock fish and dry fish trust me i'm also going to season with stock cubes and then salt i will now add the scotch bonnet peppers Next, I'm going to add enough water for my soup. You can add as little or as much water depending on the quantity of soup that you want to cook. But just ensure that you season properly. I'm now going to go in next with my yam cubes and allow everything to cook together for about 10 minutes. So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes and the yams are soft enough. I'm going to take them out um, carefully and ensure that I do not leave anyone behind. The next ingredient I'm going to add is the ogiri bowl. They are made of fermented seeds and they smell awfully, but they add tons and tons of flavor to your dish. If you're going to make authentic open salad, then you need to add these ingredients. The next thing I'm going to be adding is crayfish. You need a lot of crayfish. There is no Nigerian soup without crayfish, so please be very, very, very generous with the amount of crayfish that you add. I'm just going to give it a quick stir and let it continue cooking while I go and blend my yams. While blending your yams, add just enough water. Don't add too much because you don't want it to be too runny. Remember that we are going to use this as a thickener, but don't worry, I'll show you the consistency that you should aim to achieve. So this is the consistency of the yam puree so i'll just add it bit by bit into the pot and then cover it up and allow it to dissolve So it's been cooking for about three to four minutes and you can see that the yam has completely dissolved it's thick enough for some people but i still want mine a little thicker so i'm going to be adding a little more of the yam puree and let it cook for a few more minutes Now this is the thickness I am happy with. 
it looks so good and it even tastes better the next thing i'm going to add are my vegetables i'm using otazi leaves and uziza leaves please add very little quantity of um, otazi leaves because they are bitter but you can add as much uziza leaves as you want but remember that it's called white soup for a reason so you want to still maintain the color I'm going to let it cook for another 2 minutes and the soup is ready just like that. Ofin Sala is one of the easiest soups to prepare. I know the name Ofin Sala sounds intimidating and I used to feel like that before until I realized and I was like, ah ah, this soup is easy and it is so delicious. So if you've not been cooking Ofin Sala regularly, this is your sign. You can have it with any swallow of your choice as usual. I had mine with um, fufu. I love the combination so much. I love fufu so much actually. It's one of my top two swallows and it is not number two. <laughs> Guys, I know that you enjoyed watching this video. Please do not forget to like, kindly subscribe. I'd like to read from you. Please drop your comments down below. And please check out my um, channel for other delicious Nigerian recipes as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.